It's probably the highest priority we have at this moment. The man in charge of Virginia's prison system speaks candidly about keeping contraband out of his facilities, specifically the drugs that have made their way into the hands of so many inmates. Fentanyl is poisoning Virginians, poisoning Americans, and we don't want that happen in our facility. Over the past two years, CBS 6 has reported extensively about safety and overdose issues in Virginia's prisons, with a focus on the correctional centers in Greensville and Lawrenceville. Chad Dotson became the director of the Department of Corrections four months ago. Speaking before House lawmakers Friday morning, he offered an update on the state's efforts to close four prison facilities this summer and take over operation of Lawrenceville, which has been private run for years. The director saying that prison has essentially been ground zero for overdoses. We intend to make uh, capital improvements that can make sure that uh, we address some of the uh, maintenance issues, the security issues. As for at facilities already under state control, Dotson says along with new leadership at Greensville, they're focused on mail and visitor inspection. It's coming in through uh, employees. That's just a fact of the matter. And so we're doing trying to attack uh, that that problem as well and make sure that uh, we're not responsible um, for uh, any any overdoses. Case in point, a few hours after Dotson's presentation, DOC sent out a news release saying a staff member was caught trying to bring in tobacco to Indian Creek Correctional Center earlier this month. I have other pieces of legislation I'll be filing. One is a safe harbor bill. However, lawmakers are also offering their own fixes to drug overdoses. Democratic delegate Holly Siebold has legislation to allow inmates to report the issue without fear of punishment. We want to keep people alive and this bill will do that. We're encouraged with the new leadership of the, the Virginia Department of Corrections. That, that, that said, that doesn't obviously negate the issues that the department is still struggling with. The American Civil Liberties Union supports this, saying it's similar to the Good Samaritan law and add even if prisons were fully staffed, which Dotson says they are not, they need information like this from inmates. We're not asking for a carrot, but please take the stick away. Make it safe to report these overdoses so people can get the help that they need and they can get it quickly because they need help fast. And several other pieces of legislation have been filed to address issues in state prisons, including some bipartisan ones, and CBS 6 will be taking a deeper dive on those later in the session. At the state capitol, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.